our sick brothers and sisters, and to all Filipinos working abroad. Our time now is 5 o'clock in the afternoon. As for Let me, us now have I trust our... in the Lord. Let me glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon po, Father. Welcome dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. To prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily this Mass, we first pause for a while. We call to mind our unworthiness. We ask the Lord for His mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy, and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and extort in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be, be in it an infant who lives but in new days, or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime, his dies a myriad who reaches but hundred years, and he who fears of hundred shall be two accords. They shall live in the house they build, and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drew me clear, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the nether world. You preserved me from among dust going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime is goodwill, and nightfall, weeping in tears in, but with the down rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Please stand. Sing good and not evil, so that you will live, and the Lord will be with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. 
For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, we come before Sir, calm down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just, as that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. But their brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po muli sa inyong lahat at welcome dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Sa kalendaryo ng ating simbahan, nasa ika-27 araw na tayo sa panahon ng Kwaresma. Kung inyo pong matatandaan, nagsimula ang panahon ng Kwaresma noong March 1, araw ng Miyerkules. At ang Miyerkules na yon ay tinatawag nating Miyerkules ng Abo kung saan marami sa mga nagsimba ay nagpalagay ng krus na Abo sa kanilang noo. At sa mga nagpalagay nito, ang hamon, ang sinasabi ng pare ay turn away from sin and believe in the gospel. Or turn away from sin and believe in the good news. No? Na talikdan mo ang iyong kasalanan at maniwala ka sa magandang balita. Lumipas ang 27 days, kumusta na ba ang ating pag e effort ng ating uh, pagsusumikap na umiwas na tumalikod sa kasalanan? Nagawa ba nating magsakripisyo upang ang kasalanan ay huwag pumasok sa ating buhay? Pero huwag nating kalimutan ang pangilawang hamon ng ating Panginoon no, na hindi lamang turning away from sin, but believe in the good news. Ano ba yung good news? Yung good news na ipinapamalita ng ating Panginoon. No, sa simula pa lamang ng kanyang preaching ministry, nung nagturo ang ating Panginoon, nakasentro ang kanyang pagtuturo sa kingdom of God. Yun ang good news. At sinasabi niya, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Narito na ang paghahari ng Diyos. Sa kanyang presensya, ang paghahari ng Diyos ay sumasa mga tagapakinig na handang i-embrace ang paghahari, ang kaharian ng Diyos. Ano ba yung tinatawag nating paghahari ng Diyos na narito na? Hindi lamang yung presensya ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoon, kundi dala ng presensya na to. Ang pagmamahal ng Diyos, ang kalinga ng Diyos, ang kapatawaran ng Diyos na sa mga taong handang i-embrace ang presensya ng Diyos, handa din nilang i-embrace ang kalinga ng Diyos, ang pagmamahal ng Diyos, ang kapatawaran ng Diyos. At sa mga taong handang i-embrace ito, sila yung mga taong tumatalikod sa kasalanan upang harapin, i-embrace ang presensya ng Diyos na nagdadala ng, kapayapa, ng uh, pagmamahal, no? ng kalinga, 
ng kapatawaran. Kaya mahalaga ang magandang balita ng paghahari ng Diyos. May mga taong hindi man naunawaan, pero nung sinabi ng ating Panginoon, sumunod ka sa akin. No? Yung mga unang alagad, nagsinuran sinuran sila. Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi man nila nauunawaan, pero nakikita marahil nila sa ating Panginoon, sa pananalita ng ating Panginoon, na buhay ang kalinga ng Diyos, na handang magpatawad ang Diyos, kung kaya tumalikod sila sa kung anumang naging hadlang upang sila ay sumunod sa ating Panginoon. May mga taong nananabuan kung kaya gumagamit ang ating Panginoon ng mga parables ng about the kingdom of God. No? The kingdom of God is like a hidden treasure. The kingdom of God is like a fine pearl. Na ibig sabihin, mahalaga na kapag ito'y natagpuan ng isang tao, kaya niyang ibenta lahat, maangkin lamang no? ang pagmamahal, ang presensya, ang kapatawaran ng Diyos. Sapagkat narito na ang Diyos, kaya mong talikuran ang anumang meron ka just to embrace. No? Itong fine pearl na to, itong hidden wealth na to, no? itong mga mga bagay na ginamit ng ating Panginoon upang ilarawan ang kaharian ng Diyos. Pero sa mga taong medyo malabo pa rin, naiugnay ang mga pag-aaral, ang pagbibigay ng halimbawa tungkol sa mga parabula, isa sa mga prueba, mga evidences na narito na ang pagmamahal ng Diyos ay ang mga miracles ng ating Panginoon. At simula, sinimula niya ang mga himala sa pagpapagaling. Marami siyang mga taong pinagaling. Ang mga kitongin, ang mga Uh, ang mga masingkaw, ang mga bulag, ang mga pipi. No? May mga binuhay siyang patay. Pagpapatunay lamang na ang pagmamahal ng Diyos ay maaring magpapabago sa anyo ng isang taong makasalanan. Sa anyo ng isang may sakit na tao na ang pagmamahal ng Diyos ay Uh, daan upang gumaling ang taong ito. Ito yung tinatawag nating signs and wonders. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, nabalitaan ng maraming tao na gumawa ng maraming signs and wonders ang ating Panginoon sa ibang lugar. In fact, nabanggit dito, no, nung unang himala niya sa Cana, kung kaya marami ang lumalapit. At sabi nga ng ating Panginoon, you people, unless you see signs and wonders, you would not believe. Pero nakahangahanga, sinabi nga ng ating Panginoon na blessed are those na hindi man nila nakikita itong mga signs and wonders na to pero sa pamamagitan ng mga salita ng Diyos, sila ay nananampalataya. Mga kapatid, sa ating buhay, ang salita ng Diyos ay maaring maging daan din ng magkaroon ng signs and wonders sa ating buhay. Pero hindi naman kailangan maraming pumupunta dito sa Manawag na hindi naman ang kanilang hinihingi ay magkaroon ng mga himalang mangyayari no, sa kanilang buhay, kagalingan sa mga may sakit. Narito lang sila sapagkat ang hamo ng salita ng Diyos ng pagpapahalaga ng, ng ating Panginoong Seso Kristo sa kanyang mahal na ina ay sapat na para tayo ay manikluhod at magbigay purit pasalamat na meron tayong ina na nagdarasal sa atin. Naniniwala tayo na bilang ina ng ating Panginoon, ang ina ng manawag no, ay blessed among women. Nang ating ina ay pinagpala sa babaing lahat at dahilan dyan, instrumento siya ng pagbabahagi ng kanyang pagpapala. Hindi na kailangan na magkaroon siya ng mga himala upang pabalik-balik tayo dito na maghinihingi yung signs and wonders. Pero ganun pa man, yamang may mga tao na matigas ang puso at kailangan nilang magkaroon ng mga himala, alam natin na may mga kwento ng himala dito sa Manawag. At yan yung mga dahilan din kung bakit maraming mga tao mula pa sa iba't ibang lugar, maraming mga Pilipino na kahit na nag-ibang bayan, no, ay bumabalik dito para magpasalamat. Because ang kanilang pagkaroon ng trabaho, maging sa ibang bayan, 
ay tanda ng signs and wonders na ibinahagi ng inang si Maria sa kanyang mga panalangin para sa atin. Pero again, blessed are those people na kahit man walang himalang nangyayari, sapat na ang salita ng Diyos. Na kapag napapakinggan natin ang salita ng Diyos, will bring us to conversion, will bring us to healing. Gaya ng nangyayari sa mga alagad na isang tawag lang, Come, follow me, naniniwala tayo. And lastly, sa ating mundo ngayon, lalo na sa ating bansa, maraming kaagaw ang salita ng Diyos. Anong ibig kong sabihin? Magbasa lang kayo ng social media, no, sa internet, sa inyong mga Facebook, laganap ang mga kasinungalingan, mga salita na nanglilin lang, mga salita na akala natin totoo, pero fabricated lies, half-truths. Iniingganyo ang tao na maniniwala sa mga propaganda. Kung kaya, kung titingnan natin maraming mga tao na minsan galit sa simbahan sapagkat pinipigilan ng simbahan ang death penalty na laso na ng ibang salita ang kanilang mga pag-iisip, ang kanilang damdamin. Pero kung susuriin natin ang salita ng Diyos, it is the Word of God kapag tinawag tayo, no? kapag ipinariting sa atin, Ika nga, today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Sapagkat kung matigas ang ating puso sa salita ng Diyos, pero bukas naman doon sa mga sinungalingan sa social media, maging mahirap sa atin tanggapin ang turo ng simbahan. Mas madaling tanggapin ang mga binabaliktad ng mga katotohanan no? at nanindigan tayo at sinasabing ito ay para sa bayan. Pero sa kalaunan, magbibigay sa atin ng paghihirap o ano paman sapagkat itong bagay na to ay hindi galing sa Diyos. Sa panahon ng Kwaresma, hindi kailangang signs and wonders. Kailangan lamang pagbudimunian ang salita ng Diyos sapagkat ang salita ng Diyos ang nagdadala sa atin ng enlightenment, kaliwanagan, ng inspirasyon. At kapag ang kaliwanagan na yan at inspirasyon ay ramdam natin, ito ang magdadala sa atin sa conversion, sa pagbabago, sa pagkita, mababanaaga natin ang katotohanan. And it is the truth that will set us free. It is the truth that will lead us to freedom, to salvation. Tumayo tayo ngayon, ihayag natin. Taas natin sa ating Panginoon ang ating mga kahiligan. Confident that when we pray with faith to God the Father, He will respond to our request with open-hearted generosity. We now present before Him our needs. Let our response be, Father, heal us through Jesus. Father, heal us through Jesus, that the church throughout the world may be a symbol of Christ. Healing work by he heal care for those who are sick and body, mind and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus. That doctors, nurses, and those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the less of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus that this season of Lent may be a time of healing and reconciliations for families and communities of people. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus. That the sick and the suffering may receive comfort and support from their families, friends, and neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus that our beloved did me enjoy forever the reward of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus. We include in our prayers the intentions of those people who are asking for our prayers, for the intentions of those people whom we promise to pray for. We pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus. We pause for a while. In the silence of our hearts, we lift to the Lord our own personal and particular intentions.
We pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus. Heavenly Father, help us to go on trusting you and to have faith in the healing power of your Son who binds up all our wounds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the pleasing glory of His name, for our good in the good of all his holy children. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtues and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in, in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are for your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Elmer, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only see the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws, and my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. You are listening to the live Mass on Air at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And the celebrant for this live Mass on Air is Reverend Father Greg Gregory O.P. Let us pray for Mr. Wilson Chua and family of Bitstop Network Services Incorporated for their generosity through iradioportal.com and for the intention of our sick brothers and sisters and to all Filipinos working abroad. 
for you who are listening to this radio and watching through the internet the live broadcast of this holy sacrifice of the mass being celebrated in this shrine of our lady of the rosary of manawag may i invite you to pray with me this spiritual communion in the act of charity my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you prayer for an act of charity oh my god i love you above all things with all my heart and soul because you're all good and worthy of all love i love my neighbor as myself for the love of you i forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom i have injured we ask this to christ our lord amen ito po ay isang paalala ng radyo manawag minamahal namin mga kapatid kami po ay itaos pusong nagpapasalamat sa patuloy niyong pagtangkilik sa radyo manawag Ngayon po ang misang ito ay para sa mga may sakit at lalong-lalo na yung hindi makapunta sa simbahan dahil sa kanilang karamdaman at kapansanan, bagamat pilay at hindi sila makalakad dahil sila nasa higaan. Pero ang misang ito ay para sa lahat din po. Nga lang, mahalaga po na tayong walang sakit, walang karamdaman, makinig tayo pero kinakailangan po na pumunta pa rin tayo sa simbahan mismo parang tayo ay maka physically makapagparticipate kayong po na mga may sakit kung gusto po ninyo magkomunyon lapitan lang po ninyo ang parokya ang parish priest at the same time ang parokya ng manawag parang humingi kayo ng komunyon at kayo bibigyan ng komunyon sa inyong mga tahanan maraming salamat po sa pamagitan ng radyo ito kami po ay nakakapaglingkod sa inyo God bless us all. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal through Christ our Lord. Can you be seated for some announcement? The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 3, 2017, third Wednesday of Easter season. The Binamasis will begin on April 24, every hour from 5 a.m. to 12 noon. There will also be a Binamas at 4 in the afternoon. We invite you to participate in the said Binamasis. If you wish to sponsor one of several Masses, You may approach the personnel at the religious store, at the ground floor, or at the museum. The Binamasis will be airy over Radio Dominico ng Manawag 102.5 FM for live streaming. You may also search for Radio Dominico in the internet. The Dubina booklet in honor of Our Lady of Manawag is now available at the religious stores You may now buy your copy of the revised edition in English. 
Every Friday throughout this Lenten season, there will be a way of the cross at 4 p.m. to be followed by the Mass. You are all invited. Thank you. Another announcement. In line with the incoming of servants of the Holy Week and the celebration of summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we would like to inform you that the parking area inside the Basilica will be closed. This is to make way for the preparation, maintenance, and improvement of Basilica. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the prayer, for the blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord, and since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Maraming salamat po. Magbibless tayo ng mga may sakit nating mga kapatid. At pagkatapos ng blessing of the sick, ay ang pagbabasbas naman ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para sa pagbabasbas ng inyong religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may rosaries, candles, crucifixes, images of our Lord, images of Our Lady, prayer booklets, scapulars, stampitas, and all other religious items and articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Mother, we come at thy call and lower thy altar before thee we fall. Abe, Abe, Abe Maria, Abe, Abe, Abe Maria. In grief and sensation, in joy and in pain, we'll seek the our 